Something up? All right, what did you want to know? Oh, a visitor comes to our delightful salvager camp. We are honored. Do you come bringing your credits and curiosity? A question I pose to you, traveler. Do you wish to buy one of the most elusive of all Jedi artifacts? A powerful Jedi holocron. You flatter me, traveler. It was a good day when I found this holocron. But you are lucky, for I will sell it to you for a low price. I ask a mere 1,000 credits for this rare find. This is not a matter of negotiation. You should buy it quickly before others come. Oh, I assure you it isn't. I will show it to you presently. As you can see, it is in fine shape. A real bargain at a mere 1,000 credits. How'd you know? How will I never unload this accursed thing? This isn't my fault. You can't blame me. I apologize immensely. But surely you recognize that attacking me here will pose problems. The militia and the salvagers will hunt you. I will not. Very well. Take it. Leave me to my poverty, my suffering. Yes, General? If the Republic would just rein Zerka in, there'd be no problem. But as long as Zerka is allowed to undermine the Athorian's efforts, Telos will remain dead. I can't take seeing my work being used by those bloodsuckers. But there's nothing I can do about it, so let's talk about something else. Something else I can help you with? Let me see what you have. No, something... You have befriended the Seer. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the Force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. Despite your intentions, it would be better to deal with her now. Whether you intend salvation or slavery, she is a threat to us. She serves one of the greatest of the Sith. She is the most trusted and only apprentice. Yet you spare her. Why? We shall see. There may be value in such a choice to keep her alive, or perhaps not. Whatever your intentions toward her, keep them restrained. We have no time for mercy. Is that so? 
Well, perhaps there will be a second chance for her to inflict harm, so you may test such a state. This one you have saved has other masters. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us, to you. Do not underestimate her or her loyalty. Then you are learning. Did he? And what do you make of that? You are right to trust your instincts. Something is wrong. It is only a matter of discovering what and why. If your instincts lead you to an answer, seek me out. Perhaps we will discuss more. Ask.
Who are we missing? We're one off. We're missing Joran. I don't see Joran. That runt of a cath hound, he's the one with the backpack. Did anybody grab anything from the room? Anybody? What do you want? So the pup thinks she can start bossing us around. Watch yourself. We've been here a lot longer. Lots of possible accidents if you cross us. All I see is fresh meat for the Lagrex. Don't even think of threatening us. That's a battle you can't win. That's it. Attack!
Thanks for saving me. I thought those leg wrecks had me for sure. Listen, I didn't ask for your help. Uh, I appreciate it, but I don't owe you anything. It's all Tapale's fault. She said the entryway to the sublevel was safe enough. This area has hardly been explored. We barely got in here. And then everybody started going left and right, grabbing anything they could. It was every man for himself, and nobody was watching for leg wrecks. Then, before you know it, we were under attack by those beasts. So salvagers were running every which way, and they left me to die. Oh, uh, what do I know about moisture vaporators? Well, I, I told him I wasn't sure if it would work or not. He's hiding something. Hey, uh, can we please talk about this later, we're, when we're not in danger of being eaten by leg wrecks? Sorry, I gotta go. You can meet me in the salvager camp. Is your bloodlust finally satisfied? Is that how it is? Maybe the others don't know what's happening, but I can see what's going on, and the others have felt it too. You can't hide it, General. Just look at your face. I saw other Jedi who looked like you during and after the war. It's that woman. You have to get away from her. She'll destroy you. Just be careful, General. You don't know what she wants, and she's got some gold. I'm sure of it. Was there something you wanted me for? Let me see what you have. That's everything. Now all you need is a little quiet time with the workbench.
Yes, General. Yes, General. Yes, General. Yes, General. I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic. Although I'm certain my contemporaries would judge me more a historian than scientist. I imagine in your travels of the galaxy you've seen many people. Faces tend to blur together after a time. What else would you like to know? I'm trying to save the Republic. Dantooine and the Jedi Order are instrumental to that effort. Despite the troubles of the Jedi Civil War, there are those among the Republic who still favor the Jedi and wish them to return. And there are admirals within the fleet who recognize that the Jedi must be found if the Republic is to hold together. Yet as long as Onderon remains within the Republic and the efforts on Tilo succeed, that is all that matters. The Republic is fragile right now. Tilos is important because its success will determine whether or not the other dead worlds receive the same reconstruction efforts. If Telos is rebuilt and made habitable again, it will affect a string of worlds along the rim. Onderon, strangely enough, was unaffected by the Jedi Civil War. It's almost as if Revan didn't want to attack it. 
Its resources and position on the rim make it a vital supply line and guard post against outer rim attacks. Also, it's the only world in the Republic still capable of seeding ecosystems into other dead worlds. Onderon's wildlife is some of the most aggressive in the known galaxy. Merely placing some of those beasts on target worlds will guarantee their habitation for years to come. Dantooine was one of the few Republic worlds on the Outer Rim. It is why the Republic is attempting to get the settlement up and running. Dantooine is within reach of several other Rim worlds, and the Republic will need it as a resupply post if they are to keep a presence on the Rim. What else would you like to know? No. It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they have. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way. Especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is something else at work. Something that we cannot see. Then again, perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life, insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy can recognize the difference between the Sith and the Jedi. To them, they are both Jedi, with different philosophies. Hate? No. I do not hate them. They only raise questions without answers. Jedi are not supposed to be like the rest of us. They are supposed to see a higher purpose in all things. And they are supposed to train students responsibly and well, so mistakes of the past are not repeated. Yet all I saw was ignorance and arrogance, and what those seeds created in the Republic. It is difficult to follow the Jedi Code when so few others have, but you know this. Many Jedi defy the Order during the Mandalorian Wars, and it paved the way for the Jedi Civil War. There is no blame. All must accept. But, at its core, one must wonder if it was the failure of the Jedi teachings or the teachers themselves. Many of the Jedi Council trained Exar Kun, Ulik, Revan, and Malak. How could they not see the danger they posed? And if they could not, perhaps there was some essential part of their teachings that was flawed. Something beyond the Jedi Code that they were missing. I am not certain you understand what happened with Revan. Do you wish me to explain? Revan was captured in the middle of the Jedi Civil War, due in no small part to his apprentice Malak, who turned on him. Revan was brought before the Jedi Council and put on trial. You must understand that the situation was desperate, and the Jedi needed to know how Revan had amassed the forces arrayed against them. As I understand it, they were able to convince Revan to have a change of heart. Revan helped the Republic defeat Malak. Perhaps in his conversation with the Jedi Masters, they were able to convince him of the rightness of their actions. Revan had many Masters. Zar, Dorak, Master K before K left for the wars. Towards the end of his training, he sought out many to learn techniques. It is said that he returned to his first master at the end of his training, in order to learn how he might best leave the Order. What else would you like to know? I do not know if you are aware of how fragile the Republic is at the moment. Its influence is stretched thin, and it grows weaker with time. The Jedi Civil War brought much suffering to the galaxy, and the forces that Malak and Revan amassed against us seemed limitless. Many worlds were destroyed, trade routes disrupted, and the Republic fleet was almost decimated. It was almost the end. But at that last year, the year before Revan vanished, Revan's assault on the Republic stopped. No one knows why. But it was all that saved the Republic. The fleet the Sith had amassed was no more, and the remaining Sith turned on each other, destroying the Academy on Korriban. It did not matter. Revan had already won. The war was costly, and it shattered the Republic. In time, the Republic might recover. 
But if a threat strikes now, if certain key worlds are not held, then the Republic will collapse. What else would you like to know? Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? What answers do you seek? It has been my experience that Jedi rarely answer such questions, or instead indulge in half-truths. Exiled you. It is strange they would sentence you and not speak honestly of your crime. It is not the Jedi way to lie. Well, no, that is not true. There are times when truth is concealed if they think a greater good can be achieved. But when such things are done, it is always done with the intention that the person they withheld truth from cannot be trusted with that knowledge, that it will bring harm upon themselves and others. Perhaps there was some greater danger in you knowing the reason than in the reason itself. Strange. Mysterious are the ways of the Jedi. Sometimes they see things the rest of us do not. Other times, such sight brings arrogance and a fall. In any case, it seems to me like our goals are compatible. If you would have me, I can apply my knowledge and skills to helping you find the answers you seek. There is something we must discuss. Surely you have noticed that you have been changing. As your powers return, your body suffers. It is a sign of the dark side. All your choices, they affect the flesh, rotting it, as the dark side rots you from within. Fear you? No. But I am concerned for you, yes. It is never too late to choose your path. Be mindful of that. There is always hope for you. And redemption. Very well. I imagine in your travels of the galaxy you've... Like you, I was looking for some trace of the Jedi. I had heard mention that one of the Jedi Masters had gone there. But I found no trace of them. The other reason was the ruins of the Jedi Enclave, and once I arrived, I felt it was necessary to stay, to protect what was left. Much had been taken from the Enclave, both by raiders and others. I wished to preserve what I could. Many artifacts were taken from the Enclave, but these thefts they had to have been done by someone who knew the Enclave well. 
I suspect the Jedi themselves took the holocrons and records, but I do not know why. Someone has been taking holocrons from sites across the galaxy. It is almost as if someone does not want their knowledge used to find the Jedi. The situation on Dantooine is echoed in other places in the galaxy. Raiders, smugglers, all seek to plunder what remains of the Jedi, and even the Sith. More so than the Jedi themselves, I fear the loss of their history. Much has been forgotten in recent wars, and I fear that greater troubles shall stem from that loss of knowledge in the future. The destruction of the Academy on Osus near the Kron Drift in the Sith War, the teachings of Master Arca, the adventures of Jolie Bindo on the Rimward missions, all of these things are in danger of being lost forever. Very well. Forgive me, but there is something I must ask. In my study of the Jedi histories and the more contemporary records, I have heard tales of a Jedi who was exiled. You are that Jedi, but the records are somewhat evasive on why this was done. I wanted to discuss why you chose to leave the Jedi Order and accept exile. I see. And because you went to war, they cast you out? Do you have a record of this trial? Perhaps I shall examine it when I get the chance, with your permission. I appreciate your trust. Thank you. I have studied the hollow record of your trial. I am unsure what to make of it. I must confess that I was searching for some meaning beyond the records. A reason for why one would leave the Order. Did you know that exile is a rare sentence? It is not really something that the Order can enforce. Believe it or not, it was really your choice. I don't think so. Perhaps some of them felt strongly about your sentence, but I think something else concerned them again. The choice to turn away was yours, not theirs. I imagine in your travels of the galaxy you've seen many people. Faces tend to blur together after a time. Very well. Braved the perils of the sublevel, yes. Many stories and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and associates. For now, not only do I get rich salvage, but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painless. So, this is your threat? Is Terra what I'm supposed to feel? We know a thing about Jedi and their ways. And now, Jedi, we shall fight. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You. You go down into the sub-levels yet? Or did you suddenly develop some sense? It's a shame about them. Have any luck getting to their bodies? I figure there's about no chance you'll succeed, but the reward is still open. You have? You managed to find them down there? You're tougher than you look. I have 1,000 credits for their bodies and their personal effects. You've proven very helpful. <laughs> I, I have something I have to do. Come back if you want to talk again. You a new salvager? Or one Oh, is that so? I'm gonna be
to do that help. Halt, settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. I know that you settlers have a score to settle with, Jedi. Trust me, this one's gonna suffer. Trust me. Jedi have a very bad fate waiting for them on Nar Shadda. Anything he's done to you, he'll more than pay for. For a settler, you're all right. Leave the cave and don't tell anyone what you saw. If you come back, we'll have to kill you. I'd rather not, so just go. Well executed. Do not mistake my tone. I was not faulting your choice. Far from it, I respect it. There are many who never learn such strength. I said leave, not snoop around our camp. I guess you settlers are just incapable of listening. Attack, men! <laughs> Oh, 
always rushing into action without thinking of the consequences. What? You're expecting thanks? Kunda is in danger, and you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. Though perhaps that was your intent. Don't think that I can't sense the taint of the dark side in you. It is difficult to perceive with the Force here on Dantooine, but it does not conceal your nature completely. I don't know why you think I'd tell you anything. You've seen the end of your trial? Perhaps you would like to explain how you came to this knowledge? That was intended only for the Jedi Council. If what remains of the Council chooses to tell you, then I will abide by their decision and its consequences. I said I will not tell you. You've become strong again, but I know not how. This isn't over, Exile. You are the Jedi I've heard reports of, and I am Azkul, leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. That is correct, and I want you to help me. According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I am committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. There are many ways someone with your abilities can aid us. Before the action begins, I have two main tasks in mind for you. Disable the gun turrets and the traps. Return to me when you are ready for us to begin our assault. I warn you not to keep me waiting. Well maneuvered. With both the mercenaries and the militia counting on your aid, you can influence the outcome of the situation as you see fit. Yes? Is something wrong? Very well. I imagine it. Very... I... I... A fool. 
I'm not sure I understand. No. I thought I had heard mention of such connections in some of the holocrons, but I do not possess them. They are part of the holocrons that were taken from the Enclave. I do not know. I do not know who has taken them. If we were to find them, perhaps I could help you find the answers you need. I know some of what you speak. It is said that when a Jedi and Padawan establish a close connection, that they can feel each other across distances and coordinate their movements in battle. The intensity of the connection varies. That bonding is said to also be something that manifests itself in such techniques as Bastila's battle meditation, the ability to touch the minds of others, to demoralize or inspire them. It is also said that moments of death or near death may also cause such bonds. The stronger one is in the Force, the stronger the connection. I've never heard of a bond being lethal. I suppose such a thing is possible. I had not truly believed Bastila's as battle meditation until I had seen it in action. Thoughts. Images, perhaps, but not actual communication and words. A bond often causes a sensation to be passed along it, such as extreme fear and pain. Still, I have seen Jedi who have the ability to communicate with aliens and beasts. It is a rare thing. Perhaps telepathy is one such talent. <laughs> 